The hierarchy of control um, is another interesting thing that we study in OHS, whether it's OHS for education support or whether it's OHS um, in any other course. The hierarchy of control always comes up and basically it's a very simple system for dealing with a hazard. Remember that a hazard is a thing or an object that can cause harm. The best, th and basically it works, imagine an arrow going down that way. What we want to do is try and use the steps towards the top of the hierarchy, first and foremost, in dealing with a particular hazard. These are the safest ways to the least safest ways of dealing with um, a hazard. So for example, if there are some broken pipes and a little bit of construction work in, say, the corner of a, an area where students are playing, the best thing to do, the safest thing to do, would be able to completely eliminate it. Of course, that's not always possible, so we'd want to go down a little bit. Now let's say that an example where you could eliminate it would be if there was a broken chair and there was a bit of steel or something like that that could you know, hurt a student if they fell over. Um, the best thing to do would be eliminate it. Completely get rid of that chair, it goes in the bin, put it in the cupboard, don't, just don't leave it lying around your classroom. Okay, so completely eliminate is the best thing you can do. If you can't eliminate it, then you need to go down the list and think, well, what else can I do to um, minimise risk? Now, we'd rather use number two or number three before we go down to four, five, or six. Again, we want to go with the lowest or, or up this end first. Um, replacing it, well, is it an object that's dangerous? Is it, for example, um, a piece of machinery that's dangerous? Can we, we can't eliminate it because we need to use it, like in woodwork or something, can we replace it with something that's safer? Um, if that's not possible, can we separate it? Can we remove it from what students, um, uh, where students uh, are working? Can we modify it? Can we add some safety devices to it and those types of things? Okay, well, we can't get rid of it. We can't change it. We can't really do anything to it, but we still have to have it. So let's make some rules around it. You must not. You must wear hair nets so your hair doesn't get caught in the machine. Those types of things. Um, and finally, if you can't do anything else, protective equipment, personal protective um, equipment. Like for example, wearing a hard hat, wearing welding masks, those types of things. It is the least preferred way of protecting students and staff members from a particular hazard. Um, now, you're not going to remember all six of those and you're not going to think of things, those six things every time you come across a hazard. So I always just try and remember the best thing to do is to get rid of something. If you can't get rid of it, what else can you do to make it as safe as possible? Letting the fewest number of students near it, uh, making some rules around it, um, and worse comes to worse, make sure the students are protected. Um, personal protective equipment, by the way, includes things like sunscreen, hats, um, long sleeve shirts, those types of things. Um, even bug spray if you're on a camp.